Hey guys, this is Raw Words with Levi. I'm Levi. Today we're going to be talking about setting yourself up for success. My personal opinion, everybody should have a little success map on where they were, where they want to be, or where they were, and where they are now. Either way, everybody should have a set yourself up for success type map thingy thingy. Um, <laughs> okay, so my first thing to say is write it out. Write it out, type it out, talk to somebody and have them write it out or type it out if you don't like to write or type. Reason being is because you want it to be on paper or on the computer or something that you can go back and look at to see what you missed, if you missed anything, or what could have been done better if it didn't work the first time. So, you start with, what do I want to be from a year from now? What do I want to be from three years from now? What do I want to be five years from now and ten years from now? These little blocks help, whether it's school, whether it's career-wise, whether it's life-wise, relationship-wise, whatever. It helps no matter what. After you figure out what you want to do and where you want to be on each of these little points, then you have to start it. Start early. Don't put it off until next week or next month or next year. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to be, you have to start it right then and there. Or it's not going to mean anything to you. So start it early and keep it consistent. After that, you're going to get criticism, you know, some positive, some negative, whatever it is, take it in. You know, some people are really, really self-conscious and really, really sensitive when it comes to getting criticized. And I understand, but some of that is really helpful. Sometimes you have to take some of that negativity and turn it into something positive. Whether somebody says, hey, you shouldn't sell this for this. It's too cheap. I wouldn't buy it for this much. Okay, well, maybe I need to spice it up. Or maybe I need to lower the rate, depending on what it is. Either way, all criticism can help. You know how they say all publicity is good publicity? Nah, it's kind of right and kind of wrong. But criticism can be taken in all good ways, as long as you keep your mind and your heart clear. After you accept that criticism, do it all over again. Go back to the beginning and check your map. Check your success map and see what did I do, what did I not do, or even add points to it. That Okay, instead of just doing this, I want to do this, this, and this to add to it to see if that gets me to my next point easier. Or quicker, excuse me. So if you do it in a, in a full circle every time, every time, and keep trying to better yourself, because you, you're going to keep going up. You're going to keep going up, keep scratching stuff off. You're going to get where you want to be. It's a scientific fact. I don't know. I really don't know if it is. But I think that it's a scientific fact that if you keep doing it like that and you keep bettering yourself each time, you're not just going to be sitting in the same place. You're going to be going up that hill, going up that mountain. Keep, you know, and you're still betting yourself. Even when you get to the top, you're going to find a way to jump from that mountaintop to another mountaintop that's even higher than that. Last thing, never give up. That kind of ties into the whole mountaintop thing. Never give up. It might not go perfect the first time. Let's be honest. It will not go great the, per the first time. It's not going to be perfect. It never will be perfect. But you can keep trying to perfect the things that you've missed. That just makes it foolproof in your success map. So just don't give up. Keep on pushing through. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. School your classes, that one class that you couldn't beat, that you just kept trying for. For instance, I took accounting in college six times, okay? Six times, and I could never get more than a D. It was embarrassing to see my friends and everybody around me get A's, B's, and C's, and I could not get a D. I mean, I could not get more than a D to save my life. But I kept trying, and I kept trying, and I kept going back over my steps and kept adding things and kept adding things. At the end of it all, I ended up graduating because I was able to go in the dean's office, show him my map of success with accounting and show him how, where I was, 
at and where I was in and where I am now. And he read it through and he listened to me speak and he signed that paper to let me graduate because he knew I was ready. That being said, anything is possible. I'm pretty sure he hadn't done that for a lot of people. Signed a paper to allow them to graduate even though they failed the class multiple times and make constant Ds. But he did. And I was very grateful. So don't give up. Just keep on pushing. And keep putting those extra points on the map. Keep adding extra things to your success. You know, better yourself no matter what it is. This is Raw Words with Levi. Like, subscribe, comment. Talk to you guys later.